Seattle, Washington. It is the upper left corner of the United States and part of the greater Pacific Northwest, also known as the land of the water, mountains, and trees. It is incredible beautiful here, and today I'll cover what to do in Seattle, where to eat, drink, and shop, and the best times to visit, and some tips about getting around. your local realtor and on this channel I post lots of videos about what it's like to live in Seattle metro area so if you enjoy the content please make sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and I do get calls and emails and texts of people asking about information and how to move to Seattle and what it looks like to live here and I would love to help you but I cannot help you unless you reach out to me so make sure to stay connected and I got your back when you're moving to Seattle and as I share I am your local realtor expert and here to share my ultimate Seattle travel guide with you I've lived in the Seattle area for over 22 years and every day I am so thankful to call this beautiful city home and if you're thinking about visiting Seattle let me show you some of my favorite spots and share some tips to make your trip unforgettable so let's start with what to do in Seattle obviously we have to start off with the space needle this is an iconic landmark here a must visit located in the seattle center you take pictures or go up to see the 360 degree view of the city the glass rotating floor it's super cool it was built in 1962 the world's fair the space needle offers stunning views of the city Elliott Bay, the Cascade Mountains, and even Mount Rainier on clear days. Pike, Pike Place Market, a famous farmer's market with local vendors selling fresh produce, flowers, seafood. It is a fun place to explore and you even get to visit the nearby gum wall. Don't miss the fish drawing vendors and the original Starbucks store, all located in that area. Pike Place Market is a great place to grab breakfast, lunch with numerous small eateries and cafes. The Chihuly Garden and Glass. This museum showcases stunning glass art by Del Chihuly. It is a unique and beautiful experience with both indoor and outdoor exhibits. The vibrant colors, the intricate design make a visual treat. Waterfront, enjoy a stroll along the shops and the restaurants by the Puget Sound. There's a lot of exciting construction happening there, including new parks and an expanded aquarium. Take a ride on the Seattle Great Wheel for a panoramic view of the city and the water. It's a must see. Also, we have the Amazon Spheres. These glass domes are filled with plants and are usually open to the public on selected Saturdays. It is a fascinating spot right in the city, designed as a workspace for Amazon employees, but offering a unique blend of nature and modern architecture. Pier 62 and Gaswork Park both offer fantastic views of the city skyline, perfect for a sunny day or a sunset. Gaswork Park is located on the site of a former gasification plant, and it is industrial remains adds a quirky charm to the beautiful green space. Terry Park, located in Queen Anne, it is a spot that offers a picturesque view of the city, including the Space Needle and the Mount Rainier on clear days. It is a popular spot for photographers, a great, a great place for relax and taking the scenery. The Puget Sound Ferries, take a ferry to Bainbridge Island or to Bremerton for beautiful views of the city from the water. The ferry ride in itself is memorable and experience, offering a unique perspective of the Seattle skyline and the surrounding nature beauty that we have here. Now let's talk about food, drinks, and shopping. So starting with food, so Pike Place Chowder, try the clam chowder in the Seattle staple. They have won numerous awards for their chowders and it's perfect for a cozy meal on a rainy day. Ivers, for seafood lovers, their fish and chips are a must with locations throughout the city, including a spot right on the waterfront. It's convenient 
and tasting option. Dick's Drive-In, it's an iconic spot for a late night burger. Their simple yet delicious menu has been in Seattle, has been a Seattle favorite since 1954. Sister and brothers, they serve delicious fried chicken with varying spice levels. Their fried chicken sandwiches are a local favorite and they offer a great selection of sides. Pridoski Pirosky, it's located in Pike Market Place. They offer a taste in Russian pastry. The aroma of the fresh pastry, you don't understand. You definitely have to go and try it. Their sweet or savory options, equally tempting. Seattle Dogs, a hot dog with cream cheese, often found a late night around Capitol Hill. It might sound unusual, but it's beloved, but it are local specialties in here. Talking about some desserts, salt and straw amazing ice cream with unique flavors they started in portland and have since become a favorite here in seattle offering different flavors every month and then also we have molly moons which is another great ice cream spot delicious option they focus on local and sustainable ingredients that make their ice cream even more special hot cakes known for the molten chocolate cake serving with ice cream they're rich and thick chocolate desserts they have it's satisfying top hot pot donuts it's also another amazing place if you like your donuts and wants to try something and bakery Novor, their twice baked almond croissant it's a treat and you cannot miss that it is actually an award-winning bakery that offers right range of pastry breads and chocolates now talking about drinks you have to try the Starbucks reserve Postry. It is an experience to be there. They actually have also cocktails. It's located in Capitol Hill. It's a cup lover's paradise, exclusive blends, and an immerse in an experience. Rachel and Ginger's beer, refreshing ginger beer, and mules. Their vibrant and fresh flavors make it for a perfect spot for non-alcoholic treat on a unique or a unique cocktail. Fremont Brewery and Old Stove Brewery great places for local beers. Fremont Brewery offers a relaxed atmosphere with a large outdoor seating area, while Old Stove Brewery provides great views of the waterfront. And Bar, one of my favorite top um, rooftop bars in South Lake Union. You can enjoy a cocktail while taking all the insights of Lake Union and the city skyline. Definitely an awesome. If you like um, thrifting, Fremont Vintage Mall, it's a treasury trove of unique finds. From vintage clothing to quirky antiques, it's a fun place to explore. Another one, if you want to be an antique, Seattle Antiques Market for a fun knickknack and vintage items. It's located near the waterfront. It's a great spot for treasure hunting. Amazon Go, experience the cashier, cashier last convenience store. Grab what you want and just walk out. Technology takes care of the rest. Pike Street Press for a Pacific Northwest theme, notebooks, art, prints, and postcards. They offer unique local made souvenirs. And then also we have Standard Goods. It's a cute sticker air, air uh, refreshers and clothes. Their products feature local themes and are perfect for gifts. Elliott Bay Book. It is a beloved independent bookstore in Capitol Hill. It is a must visit for book lovers. And REI, founded in Seattle, it's a flagship store here, an outdoor enthusiastic dream with a climbing wall and outdoor biking paths. It's just more than a store, it's definitely an experience. And some venues that we have, we have Lumen Field, which is the home for the Seahawks and the Sounder, also hosting concert. It's the energy during the game. It is electric. You definitely need to catch a game or watch a concert in there. T-Mobile Park is the home for the Mariners, and then also it has a retractable roof. The stadium offers stunning views and great atmosphere for a baseball game night. Climate Pledge Arena, it is uh, the home for the Seattle Kraken and Storm. The state-of-the-art venue with hosts variety of events, concerts all throughout the year. Washington State Convention Center is expanding, it has large conventions, and is the central hub for major events and gathering in the city. So a little unique activities for you to hear about it. Hot tub boat. It's enjoy on the Lake Union from a hot tub. It is a fun and a relaxing way to take in all the sights. 
Also, we have the University of Washington Cherry Blossom, beautiful leaf during the spring. The campus just comes alive with pink blossoms, creating a picturesque setting. Also, we have seasonal activities from summer festivals to winter snow sports. There's always something to do. Seattle seasons, each one of them offers a unique experience from outdoor adventures or cozy indoor activities. So there's so many things that you can be doing here and a few other things. It's now obviously if you can visit Mount Rainier, also throughout the different times of the year, you'll get a different experience. And driving all directions into the city offers a scenic view. Whether you're coming from the north, south, east or west, approaching to Seattle, it's always a beautiful view that you're gonna have. Also, we have the light rail, which is becoming more used here in downtown in the city to help you get it from places to places. We have ride shares, you can do rentals, of cars obviously as an option and getting car around here it's very easy renting a car can also be a good idea if you plan to explore outside of the city and if you stay in downtown walking Seattle is a very walkable city with lots to see on foot so the city neighborhoods are full of charm walking around will be easy and you can discover a lot of hidden gems so if you're planning a trip to Seattle, I hope this guide helps you make your visit unforgettable. And if you're thinking about making a move here to Seattle, make sure to let me know. I am an expert, a realtor expert in here in the area, and I would love to help you find your home, sweet home. But other than that, if you have any questions, you want some guidance, if you're thinking about coming to Seattle, make sure to hit me up because I would love to help you find your way around here so thanks for watching i hope to see you in seattle soon don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more tips and guides bye bye